what's going on? You got it. When you got to the channel, it's your boy Big Dog back with another one take review. Now we got one for uh, The Last Dance, the Chicago Bulls documentary. Cover episode three and four of this last one of the Chicago Bulls in the 1997-98 season. Which these two episodes, the, the whole document, the whole docuseries has been great so far. And these two, with episodes three and four, continue in that path because the episodes focus, well, these two episodes really focus on Phil Jackson, Dennis Rodman, and the rivalry between the Chicago Bulls and uh, the Detroit Pistons. Which me going being, I was born in what, '93. That was right after. Uh, that's right when. Now, it was after Jordan Wurz won his third title, so it's like, of course, I didn't get to see these things. But I'm uh, a uh, big basketball uh, uh, fan and like grew up hearing the stories about the, the Pistons and the Bulls. And I've watched clips and stuff. I've seen so many clips about this, how this thing went down. I remember being a kid, though, and seeing Dennis Robin on TV and just like, what is going on? What is this guy's deal? Like, you know what I'm saying? This, this, is, this is, looks awkward to me. Why is his hair that color? Why does he have on, like, makeup and all of that? And so, you know, like, getting an insight, more insight into it is it's, it's pretty, it's just, it's fascinating to me because, like, one for one, like I said, uh, basketball is my first love. So seeing that is, like, pretty dope. Uh, I couldn't imagine, like, a lot of stuff hap that happened then, I couldn't imagine happening now. One, I'm, I'm probably going to start off with, um, like, the, the rivalry between the Bulls and the Pistons. The Pistons were beating the shit out of Michael Jordan, okay? Like, they were, like, the, the Michael Jordan rules, what they said, what they were. And then they, you know, they actually, they never denied, like, hey, man, before he went to hell, we were going to knock this, we going to beat the shit out of him. You know what I'm saying? We know what we, once he in the hell, you can't do nothing about him. Of course, it's Mike, you know what I'm saying? Of course, you can't do nothing about him. But, like, before he gets in hell, we're going to beat his ass. And, like, that, that I always knew. It's always talked about like yo the Pistons were that hump that the Bulls can get over, and then even seeing uh, the I think it's the '89 season where Scottie Pippen has a migraine in Game Seven, and so you who knows what would have happened if Scottie Pippen had, had a migraine. The 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 legacy of uh, the the beginning of the joint era might have started this, uh, a year earlier because the Pistons went on to sweep the Lakers, which I didn't know they had swept them because it's like yo shit, the fucking Pistons real deal like this. Hardcore defense, you led by somebody like Isaiah Thomas, you got the hustle man, Dennis Rodman, you had a whole team of just the, the, the bad boy Pistons. You've always heard stories about them. And I I even hated the Pistons, not even because because I knew what their reputation was, what it used to be. I used to be a big Lakers fan because Shaq was there. And then once the Detroit Pistons beat the Lakers in the finals, I was like still mad about that. And it had nothing to do with, like, it had something to do with the old Pistons because you hear stories about them. I'm like, oh, these guys are the same way because they play hella fucking swarming defense. So just seeing that whole robbery and Jordan have to deal with that and then the, him overcoming it, the team, just like, okay, now like, this is all the time. And uh, they beat him in five. It's just like, yo, this is... Like, you and you seem like the hatred because like, it's like we don't really we don't like these guys but these guys don't really like us you know, but like yo we don't give a damn we're gonna beat them and then the whole walking out the court was so ironic to me in that I never heard about it until now is that the pit I mean that the uh that the Boston Celtics did the exact same thing to them and nobody talks about it I mean, you can look at the teams and, and you can maybe just like, eh, why do you think nobody talks about when the Celtics did it to the Pistons? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, okay. Uh, and, but we're like, Jordan took it personal because it's like, yo, y'all just beat me the past two years in a row. Even when y'all beat me, you know, at the end of the game, I'm shaking y'all hands, but y'all leave before the game's even over and don't like, like, kind of like, fuck us. You know, and like, even, like, the thing that was said was, uh, hey, this is what the, uh, the how the, the Boston Celtics passed it towards us. But you, if you see during the Dr. Series, when uh, uh, um, Dennis Robin said, like, yeah, fuck those. We was like, fuck those guys. It's two conflicting things. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. Uh, uh, John Sadler was like, uh, uh, Hey, well, we didn't really, it wasn't like that. But, like, no, it definitely was. Like, 
people might not want to admit, and you can tell like Jordan is still bitter about that to this day. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you can't you can't make me believe that guy was an asshole to referring to Isaiah Thomas. I don't think they had a good relationship at all. I think Jordan legit was like pissed off at how, first of all, how they played him, how they played the game of basketball, and then like how they handled the whole situation. So just seeing that was like super dope. Uh, I'm saying I'm probably gonna say the best for last because because what's the name is definitely the. Probably one of my favorite episodes, and that's the whole Dennis Rodman episode. But talking about Phil and how Phil, and then like, uh, I can't think of the, uh, it was a John, it wasn't John Paxson. I'm trying to think of the John, the coach that was before Phil Jackson, how he didn't really want to pay attention to the whole triangle. His whole thing was like, hey, get Jordan the ball. You know what I'm saying? And like Jordan, like Jordan loved that. He didn't want to eat. And Phil bring Phil in. Phil talking about like more teamwork stuff. Like, what? Why do I not have the ball in my hands at all times? I'm trying to score eight it. You hear me? But it's like, nah, Jordan, like you you need to like get your teammates involved because if they don't get better, it's just gonna be you and then it's, you're gonna be in the same situation that you've been in. You you gonna get to, you possibly might get to the finals maybe, but you're gonna run out of gas because you you're doing everything and nobody else is playing to your level. And so he introduced a triangle. And I thought I always thought Phil Jackson was a great coach. I think he's like the greatest basketball coach of all time. Um, like right there with him and Pop, and those are the only two that I actually got to see. But like him and Pop I definitely think like the two greatest coaches of all time in like uh the NBA. So like the whole bringing in Phil, the fact that Phil was like a different kind of person. Like Phil wasn't your average coach. Like the, the way what Phil was coaching before he got to the NBA, rough, rugged, the whole but whole lot of gangster shit. Like when they say the mayor shot a referee, it's like you kind of think to yourself, like yo, what the fuck did you come from? Like you, you I'm pretty sure you happy as hell to be here, like. Far as you go see, you gonna see a couple of hard fives and some niggas get punched or some shit, but you ain't gonna see nobody get fucking sh shoot a fucking rap like that. It's just crazy. And so, uh, I've always been a fan of like Phil Jackson because you know, he coached the Lakers when I was, you know, what I'm saying a Lakers fan. So I was always big on Phil Jackson, you know. Um, and like that connection between Mike, is, him and Mike was super real because you knew, like, because well, even in the last season, Mike was like, I feel not coming back. I'm, I'm out this bitch. You know, Phil, I come back, I don't care who you bring in. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. There's no chance I'm staying. And then we get to the the last thing, and it's, well, well this is actually what the first episode we saw tonight was uh, the Dennis Robin. Dennis Robin was the, a superstar and wasn't even, like, the level of player. Like, Dennis Robin is a Hall of Fame basketball player, okay, of course. He wasn't, like, the big, best scorer, but he defended and he rebounded better than everybody else. He was on court with, okay? But, like, seeing the, the dog he had in, and, like, some people are just, like, freaks like that. And because even when he came, like, the, when he goes to, Vincent Robinson said, yo, I need a vacation. I got to get my mind right. It, to me, he's the most relatable person. I was just like, I just got to get away. I'm not dumb. Fucked up right. I mean, I'm pretty sure he just was like, yo, I'm fucked up right now. I need, to, I need a break, man. He's like, I'm going to Vegas for 48 hours. Well, 48 hours turned to, to like, I don't know how many they had to fucking go get him. He got caught on the lecture in the bed. Like, he went to Vegas and had a fucking black. Couldn't imagine somebody doing that now. Like, it's going to be all over. They're going to be looked at as, like, a bad person, you know. But, like, yo, it's like, I mean, he was fucking. But, like, when he was there, he going to give you 150%. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just, that's just what it was. But it's just entertaining to see that that aspect, you know, this guy who dressed the way he did, you know what I'm saying, the, the tattoos, the piercings, all that shit, just like, like super, just like, you look at him, just like, what does this, what does this guy do? But you just see, like, you know, he's genuinely a cool person, who really doesn't fuck with anybody. Like, you're going to get that dog out of him when you're on the court, but other than that, like, he's just chilling. But it all, all that, the stuff he do, just like, Comb and then they 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 paint this image of him and just like oh wait, this guy he's a he's a loose cannon or he can't be controlled can't be tamed you know what I'm saying all that shit the media paint that image of him just like nah this guy's just a regular guy he just did little things different you know what I'm saying he was different man. and he like the moment when he said um when he got nominated I mean when he when he got announced for the All Star team 
And then the crowd started booing and he started crying. It's like, yo, what the fuck? Like, why they don't like me, bro? Like, I'm just being me. Like, everybody always tell you to be you until you actually be you. And that's what, that's like, it's, it's the craziest shit. So I think the Dennis Rodman store, store to me, probably was the one I think they hit the most because it's like, it's, it's, it's just fucking true. Like, everybody wants you to be you until you actually start doing it. And then it's like, yeah, then everybody got a problem with it. So, but yeah, I thought this, this, this docuseries is the best day going on right now. Currently, like, you know, like, and like entertainment, you know what I'm saying? As far as entertainment, I don't wanna like step on like the, the the great work people are doing for like during this corona and everything like that. But like far as entertainment, this is the best thing going right now in the world to me. And I look I look forward to every single episode. And uh, I can't wait to see next week because I think next week you get this whole stuff with Horace Grant. Uh, he had a moment here where he called uh, everybody on the piss who didn't shake hands straight up bitches. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's going to be a meme for the, for the forever now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I can't wait to see that. And they got uh, some more stuff going on. Uh, yeah, this is this is getting really good. And we still got six episodes to go. So I ain't no telling what surprise we got left. We probably still got the shit with Steve Kerr. We got, ain't, ain't got to that yet, so... Can't wait to see. Uh, you guys, let me know what you thought about these two episodes tonight. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, people. And I'll catch up with you guys later.